Okay, so I've shown you how you can access your pre-made uh, channel strip settings. Let me show you how you can actually make them up now. So let's go back to the start. I'm going to revert to saved. Great. So we're back to the very beginning. Um, the channel strip colors are gone, but don't worry about that for now. I'm going to show you how you can make up your own individual channel strips and save them. Let's start here. Let's say, for example, the first thing we wanted in our chain was an EQ. And let's say we use one of Logic's kick presets. What else can we put on here as a compressor? And again, let's just pick something at random. Uh, let's go for a kick, that one. Um, and again, you can decide whether you want the compressor to come first by dragging it here and dropping it or the EQ, it's entirely up to you. The idea behind this is simply to show you how to create your own channel strip settings and how to save and access them. Next thing I'm gonna put in is a gate, uh, noise gate. So I've used these presets because everyone's got these ones and if you haven't got any additional um, plugin packs that you've bought, um, this will make sense. So now you go to setting and you go to save channel strip setting as. You give it a title, let's call it um, kick drum and you save that. Okay, so that, now let's go to the first kick drum and if I went here, instead of SSL drums, I went to kick drum, bang. These are all my presets all in place. For those of you who do have additional plugin packs, let's first of all assign an icon to this track. So right click here, go to drums, pop drums in there, and we'll insert, let's go to isotope, alloy two, which is what I like. Um, we'll work out the setting later on, that's on there. And I'm also going to put on uh, another isotope device. Um, let's see, Insight. I like to use that for my metering. Okay. And now I'll go to Setting, Save Channel Strip Setting As, and I will call it Isotope IZ Drums. Save that. And now if I went to this channel and I went to Setting IZ Drums, there we go, bang. Now that's how you set up the individual channel strips. What about the buses? Let's bus this channel across to bus 10 as we did before. Now I'm going to insert maybe something like a Waves bus compressor. There we go, so the SSL bus compressor. You can add as much as you like, but the idea is to show you how to use this. So I'm gonna save channel strip as, and I'm gonna do SSL compressor, and now that's on the bus. Let's reset this, uh, reset channel strip. And if we were to go in here, go to user channel strip settings, and what did we do? SSL comp, and there it is on the bus. The same principle will apply if you were creating some presets for your master uh, bus. You'd apply whatever plugins you want, save the channel strip settings and once you're ready for it you'll pull it up and apply now all of this is great for your audio tracks let's now look at software instruments 